So you're interested in a bullpup shotgun? How about an affordable one? Tokarev USA makes the TB12, and I keep seeing this, at the lowest prices I've seen for any semi-auto bullpup 12 gauge. Now, that leads to the only real important question, is it any good? Is it reliable? How does it perform? Can we shoot trap with it? Only one way to find out, check it out. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where you only get honest product reviews, no podium, no pulpit, and no politics. I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Okay, I'm all about the best bang for buck. How about you? Will this qualify? Let's start with the specs and tech, and go from there. All right, guys, finally got our hands on one. It's like Christmas, open it up. Uh, yeah, gonna have to unbox some stuff here. Okay, so out of the box, got an instruction manual, take a closer look at that. Um, not seeing pictures, always like pictures. Got the rail protector here. This does have an adjustable choke. This is the choke box. What all we got in here? Oh, we got a lock. Got some iron sights, strap. Uh, we'll have to read and see what that's about. Tool. Nice. And choke tubes. Sweet. Oh, and in our choke tube box is the charging handle. All right, let's get that on. And we'll see what size chokes we have as well. Okay, so if you're like me, you open it up and you pull these out and you're looking and you're looking and you're thinking, they didn't mark these. And then I'm looking at the choke tube things and that's the little notches here. So that's the full choke and so on. It's, it's actually uh, a, fab, a genius idea. Okay, just tossing on a couple accessories here. These are the iron sights that came with them. I mean, they're not Magpul, but they'll work. Now, this is an optic by CV Life. I just did a review on this thing. <laughs> it would shock you how tough this thing is. Um, I wanna see how high I can get this. You might wanna see that review. Anyway, it comes in at a ridiculously low price, which sort of fits what we're looking to do with this anyway. And then I've got a Magpul uh, vertical grip here that just really increases the comfort and I think is going to help uh, with the shooting and accuracy. Hey, that looks pretty good. But how many times have we purchased something that looks good and it sucks, right? Let's find out what kind of quality and reliability we can expect. Let's get the red dot zeroed and start having some fun. So before I start wasting skeet, I want to just do some mag dumps. We'll run through a box as fast as I can and see, you know, if we have any feed issues or ejection issues. Let's do it. Guys, so I've had shoulder reconstruction and have had a few shoulder kind of issues, some injections here lately, and the recoil on this, other than just pushing, is minimal. It's, it's super comfortable to shoot. 
Okay, so that's, you know, so-so reliability. I mean, I haven't fired hundreds of rounds, but so far, flawless. Rather than just dumping the ammo here, let's uh, shoot some clay. Before I forget, a special thanks to Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore. Guys, if you have not checked them out, you should check them out. Thanks, Kyle. Now, real quick, folks, would you like to find guns and ammo at crazy, stupid prices? I kid you not, I find the best deals out there. Just go to my webpage, sign up for the email, crazy, stupid deals, cost you nothing, and you can unsubscribe at any time. Links below and in the description. Also right here on the screen, it'll take you straight to the sign up page. Also, same thing on my Twitter X page, only in real time. I find those crazy, stupid deals on ammo you only wish you could find. But don't take my word. Go see for yourself. Read the comments. You definitely are going to want to check out my webpage while you're at it. I got a lot of good stuff there. Recipes, blog, you name it. Anyway, back to the review. Okay, so it's rated for three inch mags. So I, I only got two. So let's fire those off and make sure they cycle okay. I really hate three inch mags. I will say though, this is the most forgiving three inch mags I've shot in a long time. Let's quick fire off some buckshot and make sure that cycles as well. Okay, so let's be honest. Most of you are not interested in this for shooting skeet. Self-defense, home defense, right? Nothing beats that like a bunch of buckshot. Yeah. Okay, there we had a... Yeah. So I think that was a cheap ammo issue. <laughs> the thing in there popped out when it was loading in. Um, let's try these last two. <laughs> well, we did learn something. Get quality buckshot. It's nice to have that second follow-up shot. So that was about 75 round guys and not one single failure to feed other than that buckshot issue and not one failure to extract. There you go. Well, there you have it guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it answered the questions that you had. If so, hit that subscribe button, guys. That really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, every time that we're on the range, that makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.